pretty much the end of summer, but this is the first midweek workout where I'm not coming off of a 10 hour work day. Feels good, feels energized, ready to go. Over the years of running, I found a lot of cool stuff on the side of the road. Some stuff is just normal, like bungee cords and car parts. But other things you can find that are pretty awesome. Actually, a Bluetooth speaker that I found like a year ago or so. It's an awesome underwater Bluetooth speaker I found on the side of the road. It was free, which is awesome. I also found like a work flashlight that was worth almost like $100 and must have fell off a car. So you can find some cool stuff on the side of the road when you're running. It's amazing. One of my favorite things to find on the side of the road has to be cell phones. Why? Well, for the first reason, it's exhilarating to find one because it's like, oh, it's a smartphone. It's so cool. But also the fact of returning it to someone is also really awesome. And, uh, mm. Wow, this yogurt's really good. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, cell phones. That's right. So I found something recently unbelievable that I never thought I would find any time, like, in the years I'm here. Like, why? I, anyways, I found something awesome, and that is the iPhone 10. Boom. No, this is not fake. This is a real iPhone 10. Hello. And it's, um, it's beautiful. You can definitely, oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. It's, it's... It's in great shape. So yeah, this phone is not doing too good. LCD is kind of just hanging around and the screen just has a beautiful spiderweb art design. Mmm, gotta love it. Yeah, I tried, to, I tried to save this phone before it was opened up because yes, I did break this iPhone, but not in the way you think. It was pretty much destroyed at the point where I found it. Ran over by a car, uh, but the screens were not off of it. It was still together, but it was very loose together. You can tell that the screen was kind of buckling and it really wasn't holding on anymore. So since the iPhone was pretty much dead and I couldn't revive it at all, I decided to see what is on the inside and what I found will amaze you. iPhone stuff. And while we're on the topic of the iPhone 10, I actually find it hilarious that Apple decided to print Taptic engine on the Taptic engine inside the iPhone 10. Like, no one is going to see that besides the engineers, people building the phone, or some idiot that decided to break it open. Other than that, the iPhone's pretty standard. It's got two batteries, which I have no idea. And also, right in this corner, right up here, above this little thing, there's an Apple logo, a little gold Apple logo. I don't know why that's there, but it is. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And that is what's inside the iPhone 10. Congrats. So, the main point of this video is that it is the last video here in Maine. It's sad, I know, but yeah, this is pretty much the last video here. The next video will most likely be me traveling and moving into the dorm sophomore year at Liberty. So that's gonna be super exciting. And I had a plan to make this last main video pretty awesome and outdoorsy and fun. But I think that the last video kind of captured all that what I wanted to do. So since I'm in the middle of packing, my room is crazy just bad. Just look at this mess. Yeah. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about in this short video was things that I'm packing this year that I wish that I packed last year, my freshman year. Because over the time, you learn what you need and what you don't need in college. So here's a list of things I did not bring my freshman year, but I'm bringing this year. And not all of them are necessities, but they do make it a lot nicer. So let's get into it. Number one. Now the first thing on my list is an extra power strip. Now, I know it's kind of obvious to bring a power strip. Everybody does a college. They have it on all the recommended college guides. Bring a power strip, a lot easier. But what I realize is I need two, and I'm not even joking. There's not a ton of outlets, and if you're in a dorm with someone else, those outlets are just gonna get eaten up. 
And that is why I totally recommend buying another power strip. You can find them like relatively cheaper now, and I would just recommend getting at least two, because I myself eat through so many outlets with the computer, the cell phones, the cameras, GoPro, DSLR, charging the microphone, charging any other devices. And there's so many things to charge and you'll find yourself just running out of outlets. So I recommend getting another and make sure it has a surge protection. This one does. It also has USBs, which are pretty awesome. Not all of them have that, but I was able to find one with it and it is really nice to have just an exceeding amount of plugs because you can never run out of plugs but you can always have things to be plugged into number two the second thing i added to my list of items for college this year was a lamp and when i say a lamp i don't mean like a desk light like what i have lighting me up right now i mean a nice warm lamp like this like a house light a nice lamp that just fits in with the environment kind of soothing and it's nice to not have pure white all the time and just have a more calming bedside lamp. It makes a big difference. And I definitely felt like it really spruces up the room. My first year, I really didn't think I needed a light like that to kind of warm the place up just for a bedside light. But after going to other people's dorms and seeing kind of the lower lights that they have instead of the bright ceiling lights that are just above you in the dorm, I realized it really does make it more homey in your room or homey in your quad or wherever you are. It just is very inviting and I didn't bring it personally. Maybe many of you brought lamps like this to college, but for me, it was just like, all I need is a reading light and that's all. But I've learned now that it is nice to have some comfort. Number three. So the third and final thing that I add to my college list this year is totally not necessary. And that thing is a secondary monitor. Yeah, I'm not joking. Secondary monitors are something that you think, oh, it's just an extreme thing. But I can tell you for my editing or doing anything with digital media or graphic designing, having a secondary monitor is amazingly helpful and how you can spread your worksheet or even when you're writing a paper and the fact that you would have multiple tabs and have them on another monitor and i wouldn't normally buy a secondary monitor especially since they're super expensive if you look at all the prices you're like how am i going to afford this well actually this monitor is 60 dollars on amazon right now now, I can't really recommend it for gaming, but I haven't really tried it anyway. But my best bet is get a gaming monitor if you're gonna be gaming on it. This monitor is purely just made for editing, graphic designing, drawing, doing papers and having multiple tabs open. But for that, it works great and I'm happy with it. All right, guys, that is three things that I'm packing this year that I wish I packed last year. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go have some dinner. See ya.